Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a Hello World C Sharp .NET Framework console application. So let's go ahead and load Visual Studio. We're going to be using Visual Studio 2019. At the time of recording, that's the latest version of Visual Studio. So we're going to click on Create New Project. So here we're going to want to select a console application and we're going to want the .NET Framework as opposed to .NET Core, at least for this example anyway. So type in console application and as you can see it's highlighted the two console application project types. So we're going to select this one here, the .NET Framework. Perhaps in another video we'll go into the differences between the two, but for now I want you to select .NET Framework. Click Next. I'm going to leave everything as default, but uh, you're going to want to make sure, generally speaking, when you create a project, that you're using the latest version of .NET, the .NET Framework, unless you've got a good reason not to do so. So let's click Next uh, and Create. We're going to click Create. So, generally speaking, when you learn a new programming language, it seems to be uh, the thing where people create a hello world application uh, I'm not quite sure where that comes from but uh, that's what everyone does so let's go ahead and do this seems to be an update for Visual Studio we're not interested right now so let's close that so here we go we've got a program.cs file so that this is your main class file that console applications will run from as you can see we've got a main method so that's where everything starts in a console application this is going to be fairly straightforward, so we're going to type system dot console dot write line, and within these uh, open and closed brackets, we're going to type some text. We're going to essentially insert a string into this method, and we're going to say hello world. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and build the application. So let's say build. As you can see, build succeeded. We've got no errors. Let's go ahead and click play. Now, I think I know what's going to happen if we click play. Let's see if you can guess what's going to happen. As you can see, the uh, the console essentially uh, flashed up on the screen and disappeared. So while it did write hello world, we didn't get to see it because we wasn't stopping the console from uh, displaying on the screen for long enough. So we want to go ahead and add a little something after this line of code. So we're going to want to stop the uh, console from finishing until we're ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to type uh, system dot console dot read line. And if we go ahead and run this, you can click F5 to run it, or you can click this little button at the top here to start. Let's click F5. As you can see, the console actually stays on the window here until we click Enter. What I quite like to do generally is I quite like to put a little bit of text on the screen to say click Enter to close the application or to quit. So let's do that. So I've just copied this line here going to paste it and all I'm going to do I'm just going to change the text just change that string I'm going to change it to press enter to quit actually you know what I prefer close because we're not quitters are we so let's say close okay so let's run this again and as you can see we've got hello world and then we've got press enter to close. And if we press enter, the application closes. So that probably wraps it up for this video. I'll go into more details in another video about console applications and what they can be used for. Um, so that probably wraps it up. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and like it. That'd be great. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be awesome. You'll be helping me out. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and throw them in the comments section below. Uh, and until next time, take care.